The Arctic Frontier, NATO and Russia's Race for Resources The race for resources in the Arctic region has been ongoing since the turn of the century, with the melting of the polar ice caps opening up new possibilities for oil and gas exploration. The potential wealth of resources in the region has made it a playground for global powers, with an estimated 13% of the world's undiscovered oil and 30% of its untapped natural gas reserves believed to be in the Arctic. Among the powers vying for access to the Arctic's resources are the members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and Russia. Russia. Arctic states, such as Canada, Denmark, Norway, Russia, and the United States, are all members of NATO, while Russia, which also has a large presence in the region, is not. This has led to a competition between NATO and Russia for control over the Arctic region, with both sides eager to exploit its natural resources. The competition between NATO and Russia over the Arctic region has been largely peaceful, but tensions have risen in recent years. Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 caused a strain in relations between Russia and NATO countries, and their military activity in the region has increased since then. NATO has also increased its presence in the Arctic, in an effort to counter Russia's advances. This has led to fears of a potential military conflict in the region. Apart from military posturing, both NATO and Russia have taken steps to increase their access to the Arctic's resources. Russia has been particularly active in this regard, investing heavily in oil and gas exploration in the region. Its state-owned energy company, Gazprom, has committed to developing a number of fields in the Arctic, and Russia has even started building its first offshore drilling platform in the region. NATO countries, too, have been looking to increase their access to the Arctic's resources. Canada, in particular, has been pushing for greater exploration in its Arctic region, and the United States has announced plans to allow oil and gas exploration in its own Arctic waters. As the Arctic continues to melt, access to the region's resources will become increasingly important, and competition for control over those resources will only intensify. Five. The potential environmental risks of oil and gas exploration in the Arctic have also been a concern. The region is home to a delicate ecosystem and unique wildlife, and the effects of oil spills or other environmental disasters could be catastrophic. However, the lure of the region's resources has led many to overlook these risks, and there has been little agreement on how to regulate oil and gas exploration in the Arctic. As the competition for resources in the Arctic continues, there are also concerns about the region's economic and strategic importance. The melting of the polar ice caps has opened new shipping routes, which could significantly shorten shipping times between Asia and Europe. The potential economic benefits of these routes have not gone unnoticed, and countries such as China have expressed interest in developing them. On the strategic front, control over the Arctic region could also give a country an advantage in defense matters, such as early warning systems and anti-submarine warfare. In conclusion, the race for resources in the Arctic region will only continue to intensify as the ice continues to melt. Both NATO and Russia are eager to exploit the region's natural resources, and the potential economic and strategic benefits make the region too important to ignore. However, this competition could also lead to increased tensions between the two sides, and the environmental risks of oil and gas exploration in the region cannot be overlooked. Looked. As such, it is important for all parties involved to collaborate and reach a consensus on how best to manage the Arctic's resources and ensure the protection of the region's unique ecosystem.